today is a great feast for our diocese because in 1957 our diocese was founded and it was put under the uh, uh, card of the uh, guardian angels. Our diocese is dedicated to the holy angels and so uh, is our cathedral. So it is a, a great feast today for us as the Diocese of Gary. Uh, and also today as we celebrate the guardian angels, it is also a reminder for all of us of the great love that God has for us and how much He cares for each and every one of us. He has given us also a, a guardian to keep us in our path towards Him. So all of us here present have a guardian angel. And if you are like me, you probably heard from your mom when you were a child or when you were little, you heard, you prayed to your guardian angel. Pray to your guardian angel. My mom used to tell me when, when I was going out or if it was dark at night, she will say to me, pray to your guardian angel. And I did. And I did. I prayed to my guardian angel. And I'm sure, and I can tell you that, many, many times that I felt that I was afraid, that something was going to happen to me as a, as a child, my angel was there helping me and protecting me. Now, when I grew up, I kind of forgot about that. Then, I, when, when I came back to the seminary and I was learning more about our, our, our faith, I realized that my angel wasn't with me just when I was a child, but my angel is with us throughout our life. And one day, we will rejoice together in heaven because his goal is to bring us to heaven, to protect us, to keep us straight in our path, to bring us to heaven. So if some of you have or had that belief that once you grow up, once you become an, an adult, then your angel is not with you anymore, well, it's not. Your angel is with you constantly, constantly. So we have to learn to bring this friendship uh, with an angel, to develop this friendship with an angel, to talk to him, to ask him for his help. The Lord has given it to us so that we may ask Him for help, so that we may ask Him to help us to pray more, to love God more. Now, the angels are not bound by, by body like we do. The angels can see better things better than we can. The angels can love more purely than we can because they're not weighed down by our, by our body like we do. So we have to constantly ask our angel, help me to love my Heavenly Father, like you do, help me. We have to constantly, constantly ask for their help. The Lord said in today's Gospel, unless you become like little children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. We have to, in our, in our faith, we have to be like children. Children love their parents. And children know that their parents are not going to do or give them anything that is going to be harmful to them. We trust them completely. So that's what the Lord is talking about. When we have our conversation with our Heavenly Father, we have to be like children. We have to ask Him, we have to pray to Him and with the same confidence, with the same innocence, with the same uh, pure heart as children do. The prayer of children are powerful. And we all are called to be like children to love our Lord in the same way that children do, with a very pure heart. Now, it is difficult because we are surrounded by all these things in our, in, our, in our world that inflict or hinder our intellect and our freedom in many ways. So we have to constantly be uh, reminded that if a thing is not good for me, I better stay away from it. Now, it is hard for us to really stay away from that. So that's why the Lord has given us the angel. Our has given us the angels to help us in those decisions. So if, when we are in a, in a place where we know that it is a temptation for us, then at that moment, let us bring to mind our angel and say, help me to uh, stay away from this temptation. Now, as I said, we... Uh, grew up with the idea of having an angel as a child. Now, as an adult, it is not 
people are sometimes are ashamed to accept they have an angel with them, but the angel is with them. Now, it is not a shame, but it's a, a gift that the Lord has given us. So let us take advantage of this gift, this angel that the Lord has given us. Today, as we uh, celebrate the Eucharist, uh, many saints have said that whenever we celebrate the Eucharist, the altar is surrounded by angels adoring and worshiping God as He become the body, uh, as the bread and the wine become the body and the blood of Christ on the altar. So let us ask our angels today as we continue this Mass to help us to worship and to love our Lord. And as we are approaching to receive Him, receive him in the Holy Eucharist, to receive Him with pure heart. So that in our lives, we can reflect the love that the Lord has for us. And when we accept, accept the love that the Lord has for us, then we will be able to give it to those who are around us. Right? The love that we receive from God is not just to be meant to be kept, but is also to be given out. When we receive something, we are meant to give it out as well. So when we leave the church today, and as you enter into this friendship, if you haven't had the friendship with your angel, I encourage you to begin today. Today is the day that you can begin your friendship with your angel and ask him for any help. So as you leave the church today and after you receive the Eucharist, ask your angel to help you to spread the love that God has for you, to spread it to others, especially those who are in need, the little ones, as the Lord said in today's gospel, the little ones are the ones who need him the most. And it's our responsibility to bring the love to them, especially those who do not have anyone to talk to them. So as we continue this Eucharist, let us call upon our minds, our guardian angels, and ask them for their help so that we may celebrate this Eucharist well and to love and serve our Lord in our lives. Amen. Amen. Amen.